بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا كريم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد in a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned the beauty of a most simplistic some most sim simplistic or very simple words that all of us can recite very simple adhkar, dhikr how to remember Allah, mentioning Allah's name all of us can do that no one is at any advantage by their wealth by their status, their position, their race, their creed, their their color, what have you, their nationality, none of those things will benefit them in relation to remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one will have fadl due to that. And in this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam it mentions a very beautiful beautiful dhikr or ways of remembering Allah ways of mentioning and and remembering Allah and hopefully having Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember you عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لأن أقول سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر أحب إلي مما طلعت عليه الشمس هو هو مسلم in this hadith that was collected in Sahih Muslim by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that to say Subhanallah glorified be Allah Walhamdulillah all praises belongs to Allah La ilaha illallah. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Wallahu akbar. And Allah is the greatest. Is more beloved to me than what the, shem, the sun has arisen over. Letting us know that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that Dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remembering Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, is more beloved to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or was more beloved to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, than everything in this life. Because the, sh the sun, of course, rises and it sets and it rises over everything. Every, every place in the world has the. Uh, The sun rises over and the sun sets so that shows us the importance of remembering Allah of making dhikr those specified dhikr from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam glorifying Allah in the day and in the night saying Alhamdulillah all praises belongs to Allah at any time during the day as you're walking as you're walking to school as you're walking from school as long as you're not in a in places like the restroom, of course, or saying that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, you know, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa taala and acknowledging His Tawheed, His one, one His oneness, His monotheism, that Allah subhanahu wa taala is the only one worthy of worship, subhanahu wa taala. So all of these ways of dhikr 
are beloved to Allah and were beloved to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then the final adhkar he mentioned Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said Allahu Akbar Allah is the greatest look how simple that is how easy any of us can do that after Salat before Salat on our way to the Masjid on our way from Jumu'ah when we're going to meet our family when we're going to meet our co-workers when we're leaving our co-workers in the meeting silently to ourselves that's it's simple and the reward is azim and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it was more beloved to him than everything in this life sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the zakirin those people who mention him often and pray to him often subhanahu wa ta'ala so we ask that Allah the Almighty accepts our good and forgive our evil. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wallah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.